Hi and welcome to another um, DIY T6 instalment. Uh, the last time I told you I was going to be in, uh, installing a, a, a swivel seat and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I bought it for a rib swivel seat, uh, non-offset for the captain's seat and the passenger side. And uh, well, I'm going to try to fit it. It's taken a while to get it. Uh, not really a while, it was over a week, but uh, the company I used, uh, Banway Leisure, you know, weren't very good at communicating, letting me know when it was going to be sent, didn't really respond to any emails and um, I, I generally wouldn't recommend uh, buying from them. Um, but it's here, I'm going to fit it, it weighs a ton, here it is. Uh, it comes with a, uh, some, some nuts and bolts, it's quite a hefty little thing uh, and it's going to be fitting here. Uh, I've watched uh, a couple of YouTube videos. I'm making my own one, but this is, I guess, it, I'm becoming that YouTube mechanic I talked about. Uh, we're going to get it fitted. It should only take 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I've got a school run anyway in, a, in an hour, so I need to uh, get it sorted. And we'll, we'll see how we get on. Oh, 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 I've got three cameras set up today, so we can watch um, uh, how, how it's going to be done. Right, so I'm going to, further ado, I've got the, uh, uh, I've got the seat out, so the, the, the rear... Uh, passenger seat here that you can see that has been uh, that has been removed so what I'm going to do first of all is slide the seat forward and uh, get into uh, get into a video uh, taking these nuts out what I'm going to do is just quickly film which ones I'm talking about give that a little clean uh, so we've got uh, the nut here uh, and also the nut here. And the other thing is I've got what I want to do is remove that is uh, get out some of the other things. Oh, big Canadian battery for uh, starts. And as you can see, I've got a lot of I've got a lot of gubbins under there. There's a lot of gubbins. I don't really know what I'm doing with, but uh, I'm going to have a little look at all that and see what I need to take off and what I don't need to what I need to connect so I think this is the I think this here let's get amongst it I think this here is the um, the heated seat element uh, that I'm gonna have to disconnect somehow I don't know where that's gonna be disconnected from uh, we'll have to have a look at that in a minute when I get when I get this seat off and hopefully that um, will all come apparent once I've done it so I'll leave my phone there uh, little nuts and bolts. Uh, let's have a quick look. How I get that out? Oh, actually, I can see what I can see. Oh, let me get the camera under. Okay, so we've got a camera. Let's get a light in. All right, looking under the seat here, this looks like it is the heated seat element. So I'm going to take that undo it there I think it is I can possibly let's have a look that's connected that goes to there that goes through into the seat oh god I don't know what I'm doing under there um might just have a little cut here because I don't know where all that goes let's take that out that looks like a rubber bung, it is. I'll just lean that up there. Hopefully you can see. Okay, that's disconnected. And this one over here, possibly. Okay, two of those disconnected. I've just connected, disconnected another one uh, up the back there, from there. And hopefully that is all that is required. Okay, that was a bit of a paint. Phone jobber down. Hopefully my audio is a little bit better than yesterday. Looking at that, looking at those nut sizes, I'm going to guesstimate at 13 mil. Let's have a little look. Looking good. So, 13 mil socket. Out she comes. Oh, one. Best keep them handy somewhere. Back in here, I think. Little plastic cup you get from uh, 
uh, band, uh, from the, on the rib bed. And then the other one. I don't know how long this takes. Because my timing's on my video. The one in. Okay, then we're going to have to slide the seat forward. So give the seat a slide forward and a hitch up. And there are two little nuts in here. You can probably see two little nuts. I've got one there and one on that side both 13 mils as you can see i've got my spanner linked into it there there it is okay i'm moving around hopefully my audio isn't going to be the shocking example of the audio yesterday i had okay not coming off this one has got no washer. You need to remember that, no washer in the front. And then... And then this one. Now what I'm worried about is lifting this seat off and uh, the, all the electricals. Because the videos I watch didn't have electrical um, didn't have electrical uh, connectors under the under the seats so hopefully oh what's this look I've got an ever so funky doody this is where I, the iPad for long journeys, journeys for my daughter With that that's probably not gonna survive contact take that down Put it under there, and then the seat just lifts off. But what I need to do is make sure I'm not connected. Okay, so that that right. Okay, so I didn't go according to plan. There was a little connector. There was a little connector. Uh, let's just video that. So you can see here, this is the seat as I've taken it off. Two of these nuts remain and the two holes. This here was the little thing I undid on the bottom of the seat and this just simply slides into the bottom of the seat part which hopefully I'll be able to find again once we've uh, once we've connected it on right so the next part of the process then is going to be uh, well getting this big bad boy so apparently no instructions with it at all but uh, stands to reason that uh, the labels go up and uh, the handle goes up as well to be able to move. So that's in the position that I've got it on now is probably uh, the position where I believe it is supposed to fit. Now it's round the round those. Now I can't get to these, obviously, as you can see. So I'm going to need to turn the the plate somehow. That is stiff. Oh, which I can't do. Let's have a look. No, that's not going to go. Right. How is that not working? Plate. There's only one way that handle can go. Which way will it go round? Let's have a look. There's bungs under there. Maybe you need a little hammer or something to knock that round. I don't have on me. Ah, there it goes. Right, that needs that needed a, a little bit of persuasion to get that round, okay? But uh, we've got it there in the end. So we're going to use the two 
the two nuts here that uh, didn't require, didn't have any washers on. Okay, I can put those back on. That seems fairly simple. And, excuse me. And now these ones look like they countersink into there and they've got an Allen key. Mm, that's annoying, does that go? Is that going to go in there? One, two, three, four. I think it will go. Yeah, so we're going to need an Allen key, trusty pack of Allen keys, let's see if I have the right size, hopefully this size, uh, in she goes. Right, that's going to be annoying, that's not going to, that's not going to thread correctly, I don't think. Let's see if this one does it. That's thread nicely into there. And I don't know whether this one's gonna go in. It looks like it's almost cross thread from the outset. Let's have a little look. Go backwards, find the start. Oh, that's fine. Keep going in there. That wind's picking up. This is always the pain, isn't it, with these things? Is it gonna go in? Is it cross-threaded? Maybe it's not cross-threaded, maybe it's just stiff. I've got a camera out there. That I'm a bit worried about. Right, so as you can see, that is on as tight as I can get it. Last little check of those on two. Right, so what I'm left with now is uh, one, two, three, four uh, nuts, one, two, three, four bolts. God, I tell you. Don't make that. Ah. Easy. Hopefully, that's going to be a lot easier when the uh, when the seat's on. Right. Okay. So the other thing I've got to think about then is my electrics. The electrics have got to go up through here. That's one set of electrics, and the other set of electrics, which I could have swore there were two sets. I've got to connect somewhere else. So we'll see about those when we. Uh, when we get this sorted, let's get some velcro on the back there. Right, so, got to get the seats on. How am I going to do that? Not able to lock it in place. Let's go around this way and do it around about that direction, I think. So, Seat. On. Backwards, I think, is the way I'm going to do this. Oh. Something's locked. Let's 
have a look. How am I going to be able to lift that up? I don't know how that is ever going to go on there. Will it slide forward? On its rails. That must be how it goes on. There you go. So slide your seat forward. Okay, and then you can attach it on its rails. But one thing I don't see is the... Is the seat... Oh god, that's difficult. How is that? So, only one seat rail's gone forward, so I'm not sure about that. I don't know if you can see here. This seat rail here hasn't gone forward. This seat has, so I'm going to be cautious about fitting this to it. That's going to go through there. And we'll fit, I guess, socket set on top and and underneath once I get one on the rest should fall into place Oh, I see what's happened. That is touching there. I mean, that is very, in a very predic, pretty, pretty, pretty something. I can't think of the word of. Spot. I'm getting another one in on the right hand side. And hopefully, hopefully, this will be the end of that, this side. But I'm not, still not sure. Oh no, it's going to go in the bottom. Screw on top, nut on top, sorry. Well, that's in, so I can feel that's in now. Right. Right, got another one at the back there. Go. This is harder than I thought. But once the back one's in, as you can see, where's my camera? Where's my other? So it was this one here. This rail wasn't sliding back and forward when I when I when I pulled this rail, so I, I was worried how I was going to get that, those in. But uh, the nuts go under, and there's a little countersunk hole under there, and then the the, uh, the bolts go on top. So we'll get on to we'll get on with that. Right, that's that one done. God, the flipping. Cannot get the Allen key out. I bent the back of the Allen key trying to get that out. Because I'm rushing. Because the school run. Right. Should never rush these jobs, should we? Well, hopefully, when I run that right the way forward now, there should be a gap.
See that? No. So, that's left the gap there. I've already got this one in. This one needs to be lined up, so we'll get that back in. Like so. I would say that's relatively simple. Um, get, get me my spanners and my bolts and things. Just out of frame, look. Look at that. Just out of frame. I'll do that. Right, now I probably need to get my YouTube uh, video back up so I can see which of the seat bits go where. Because that is going to get fiddly. Well, I, I can see. Let's have a look. I can see already that this one I didn't need to undo. So I can probably get that one back in. He says. Oh, I need my missus here. With his little hands. Yay, that's that one. If you didn't see, because I think I just messed it up with the video, that one there, I just clicked in. Now, there's one underneath here. I'm gonna have to go get the the lead for, which is up through here. Somehow clicks onto the under the rail, and I probably find I can still connect it to the front of the seat. And actually, looking at that, the connectors are still there. Let's see if I can put that there. No, maybe there. I'm probably not gonna be able to show you this. I'm afraid. Uh, but I'm going to basically connect that piece there back up to there and then clip it to the top there somehow. Well, let's have a look if I can get these clips back in and take you on my little journey. Give the screens a bit of a wipe. Onto video mode. Time lapse, still on that. Right, this, this was clicked into one of these little slots and I think it is this one, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there, I think it pushed in there, it did. And this one was in there like that. So I should have seat power still to. Uh, well, yeah, right, let's see how this thing works. Oh, it doesn't click in. I know I thought it did, I thought it would. Right, and let's uh, pump this seat down. Oh dear. Well, that's fully pumped up. I don't know if you can see that. That's fully pumped up now, and it's connecting. Now I think that this might need, we have to cut some of these, this bit out here because that sits nice there. That's as far as it goes. I reckon I can scratch and cut a bit out just here. I'm gonna have to, because that is pretty 
naff. And of course, when I pump it down, that is not going to go on there at all. In fact, if I go all the range, that isn't going. Oh, excuse me. Look at that. That, how is that supposed to go on there? That's awful. And the chair doesn't turn around. Right, okay. Let's get it lifted up. Will it go around now? Oh dear. What is scraping? Well, I never... There are bolts. Oh, I'm not happy about this. Right. Let's get my other camera. Video it. Right, I don't know if you can see. As I'm, you can see a bow there. As I'm as I'm going there, look, there's a nut, that nut is stuck up. The only way to clear that is to actually, if I go down, that is not going to clear. That is a bit shit. So you've got to pump the chair up, go all the way around, to the back position, lock it in. Then, wait, won't it slide back? Why won't it slide back? It won't slide back because of that. Oh my gosh. That is potentially the worst. Now I can't slide, I can't slide my chair back unless it is fully and when I say fully I mean in the back position oh gosh that's horrendous and then we're sitting that's quite high missus is not going to be happy about that That's a bit shit. That, my friends, is a bit crap. Right, so, there's lots going on here. Essentially, the problems are, the seat has to sit up, else it locks on there. In fact, it can't actually go down in any way, shape or form. And I, and I don't really understand how the one I've seen on YouTube actually solves that problem. Because th this here is just gets in the way. And unless I've got that wrong, which I, I, I'm, I'm not sure I have, then actually I'm not, uh, I'm not really com completely convinced by that, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work through a couple of those problems and and see and see what the what the issue is. But um, to be honest, that that is a really that's really bad design. Now they might all be like that, and I I might have, you know, I might have just um, not realised that, that how bad they are. Oh, it's raining outside. Better go get the old. Uh, better go get the, the AR. A7R, A73. Although it. It says it's weatherproof. You just don't want to take the risk. I've got a right little setup going on the back here, look. Seats, army gear, because I'm in the army. And, uh, yeah. Oh, movie recording has been stopped automatically. What's going on here? So, what were I saying? Right, yeah, obviously, the uh, I'm filming on a little Canon EOS uh, M50 at the minute. So, 
yeah, the, uh, the seat design I'm not too happy with. Uh, I have been waffling for a little bit, uh, but uh, I'm going to have a, look, a little look at it now. I'm going to get in the van, have a little play around with it, and then come back to you with my thoughts after this video. And I'm working on a new intro from the video as well, because the one I've got is absolutely tonk, and I don't know why I thought that was ever going to be any good. But the video channel is going to be split into three different uh, subcategories. Military aviation, because I'm an army pilot. Uh, T6 life and photography and videography because I'm a passionate photographer and I'm just getting into video a little bit and that's what it's all going to be about. So uh, keep updated. This thing is going in for a cheeky little under the bonnet works tomorrow um, with a uh, company that, that rhymes with Pivo. Okay, and uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, bye for now. Uh, I'll speak to you after this once I've had a little look at the seat and how that all works. Ta-ra, bye for now.